Yes, people, welcome back to Field Builds. It's the SR20 Debt EF Civic, and it's the part two. So, what have we got left? Finish the turbo setup. Um, so, we're going to get the turbo bolted down, uh, get the oil feeds done, all the intercooler piping, um, and get the intercooler bolted in down the front. Service the engine. Uh, so, I've got an upgraded clutch, uh, new oil. Um, some uh, oil filter, bigger injectors, uh, new water pump, all new belts, that sort of thing. So we get all that done. Upgrade the brakes. Uh, I've got EP3 brakes and I think they're Renault 172 discs, uh, drilled and slotted. So we get all them done. Uh, so we've got some good brakes on it. Make the bench seat, trim the interior and paint it. Um, I think once we get about here, uh, once, once all the uh, mechanical stuff's done and the seat's in, uh, just going to sort of Double check that everything's bolted down. Um, we're going to take it out on a road test, uh, get all the get all the turbos set up, get all the air fuel ratio done, um, and then yeah, we we'll put it back in, strip it down, and paint it. Uh, so I think to begin with, we will get the engine out, um, get all this stuff done, so service the engine, um, and then once that's back in, we will do the turbo setup, upgrade the brakes, do the bench seat. It's part two. If you haven't watched part one yet, go and watch it. Meet me back here, and let's do this. is done um, so we've got new clutch in there upgraded clutch we've got brand new water pump uh, new oil filter uh, that's the feed for the turbine oil line and then I've just welded this onto the sump uh, drilled it cleaned the sump out drilled it cleaned the pickup as well um, and then that'll be the return feed for the turbo uh, so yeah that's, that's pretty much it uh, uh, so I think we're going to get the engine and the box back in um, and get all the intercooler piping and everything plumbed in and then as soon as them injectors and the shafts come this week uh, we can get it in on the floor uh, and I think we should be able to go out for a road test get some seats bolted in it and, and start getting it dialed in uh, so yeah we'll get the engine back in and get the engine bay built back up Right Groovers, time for a catch up. Where are we at? So, engine serviced. So new injectors are in, uh, upgraded clutch, uh, new spark plugs, oil filter, oil. Uh, we've drilled the sump, tapped the sump. Uh, we've got the turbo feeds in, all, all that engine stuff's done. Just tick that off. Um, brakes, I've done the brakes, I'll show you them in a sec. And yeah, here's the turbo setup. Um, so yeah, we've got the turbo and the downpipe there, um, and then coolant hose through the top, radiator's tucked there, all the intake piping's done. Intercooler's tucked right down the bottom. Just see it through there. 
And then we've got the intake just here. It's, it's all very, very tight in here, uh, but it's running sweet and it's all in there. Uh, bonnet still shuts, so I'm dead chuffed with it. That's the air filter there. We've got the MAF air flow meter. Intake pipe into the turbo. And then this uh, intake here that goes down through the back into the intercooler um, up there, down here, and then into the intake. Um, yeah, no leaks, uh, coolant's all bled up. Uh, just got EP3 calipers and Clio 172 discs. It's direct fit, didn't really feel the need to film it, so it's just me bolting some calipers and discs on. So we can wipe that off. So what's left? Not a lot. So we've got, finished the turbo setup. Um, turbo is in uh, and spooling up, but we still need to get the gauges in. I uh, still need to do the air fuel ratio and I still need to set up the boost. Um, so yeah, we've got that here, finished the turbo setup. So we get that done. Um, we get the bench seat done as well through the front. Uh, we're waiting for the drive shaft. As soon as they turn up, we fit them. And then we can take it out and road test. That'll be them done and that um, and then yeah trim the interior and paint it so i think now uh, i'm gonna get the bench seat done um get the bench seat done then we get the shafts in and the turbo setup done and then we'll take it out for road test if all as well we'll um yeah we'll strip it down paint it trim the interior and that's that sweet So bench seat and harnesses are in, um, as looking, the dog's doolies. There's probably a few of you that thought, why, why would you put bench seat in front of Civic? Come out there and I'll show you why. Look at that. Looks absolutely nuts. Got nice clearance to the gear stick. Um, it's really comfortable, We've got the harnesses in as well. And then as you can see in the last bit, just hand stitch these edges um, and down on these corners as well. Um, it's nice, nice and tight, nice and comfortable. I've uh, got the backboard on as well through there. So yeah, bench seat and a Civic can be done and it was done and it looks fucking sick. Right guys, time for the drive shaft. So just got the shafts back, just down here. So I ended up making brand new shafts. Um, so that is for the uh, Nissan cups on the gearbox, and that is direct fit into the Civic hubs. They're the right size. Um, they're direct fit, so I think we're going to get them on the car. Uh, jacket back up, get them on. Um, we're going to get the suspension height set now, uh, and all all tightened down. Um, and then we're just going to make some little over fenders on all four of these because we've got a bit of poke there. And just at the back, you see on there, it's just poking out from the arches a touch. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get some nice arch, uh, little arches on there, little over fenders come to about here, um, just so it's nice and legal. We're gonna get the ride height set, so we've got a nice bit of clearance, uh, but we'll go as low as we can. Aesthetics, always. And then yeah, we'll get, we'll get everything tightened down, um, we'll get the gauges in. I think we're gonna take a full road test and see what's good. So yeah, shafts in, tighten everything down. Um, 
and the suspension and road test. Let's fucking do this. So, here we are, bench seats done, harnesses are in, roll cage is also done, and welded in. Very nice, all bolted in with the harnesses. Uh, I've got these little over fenders on just for the minute. I'm gonna give them another wet sand, um, and then obviously they get painted in when we paint the car. Uh, I've also got the boost gauge in. Um, yeah, bonnet's back on, Ollie's on his way with some trade plates. I'll take it out for a road test, strap the cameras up. Let's see how quick she is. Let's fucking do this. You're hard as fit, you gotta stretch it out. That's right. You good? Yes, mate. Yeah? Fucking hell, man. We've got that new, haven't we? Yeah. So even if you start really low, just to get it where we need to be, even if, it, even if it's boosting like two, three PSI, and it's running sweet, then we can sort of gauge it from there. And then you can do yeah, little clicks up. Yeah. yeah, go. Oh! 
So, back from road test, and this thing rips. This is absolutely epic. Um, should have done this years ago. Wouldn't bother K20 and just got straight SR20 and turbo it because this thing's fucking sick. No oil leaks, no water leaks, running really nice, no rattles. Dead chuff of it. Dead, dead chuff of it. Right, so what we got left? We have got trim the door cards, um, trim the parcel shelf, get the carpet in, dash back in and paint it. So let's get it back inside, get it trimmed up, stripped down and painted. Nice. Insane. Those of you that said you can't put a bench here in a Civic, up yours because it looks nuts. It looks fucking sick. Got these nice flat panel door cards in here. Look at that. Absolutely pucker. Got all new carpet laid in, dashes back in, centre consoles done and trimmed down. Um, shifters in. In the back. Got a nice little cover here just to cover the fuel pump and bits and bobs that are under there and the sender, um, cages in with the harnesses, more flat panel door cards there and then we've just got this boot divider here and this nice little parcel shelf. Very, very, very nice. Fuck yeah. Absolutely fucking insane. And there we are. So that's it, part two's all done. Uh, interior's trimmed, we've got a roll cage in, harnesses. Took it for a test drive and it absolutely fucking rips. Uh, dead chuff with the speed of this thing is it's proper quick, brakes nice, handles really nice. I'm gonna get it stripped down now, um, get the engine out, get that painted, get the bay painted, and then rub down and paint, get the glass polished and go get it MOT'd and out on the road. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit a like, drop it with your pals. Um, yeah, and I'll see you at episode three, we'll be finishing it off.